have been doing mean, median, mode for years. So I'm not going to give you little short sets of data with eight or ten numbers and say find the mean, median, and the mode. You might have one of those or two of those. But so we're going to do more real-world application here. Okay, this is a real-world situation. This is some company. And in this company, the two partners who own the company each make a, a salary of $100,000 a year. Twenty-three other people in the company earn a whopping $12,000. Nine people are making $25,000 a year, and 16 are making $18,000 a year. Okay, so is this a, is this a, is this company pay well? No. No, this is like probably low-level manufacturing, not great labor here at all. Okay, so, but I want to know what's the mean, the median, and the mode salary in this company. Okay, so my question to you is, mean is the trickiest one. How do I figure that out? Because you, you can't just average these four numbers. You can't just do a mean of the four numbers because there's a different number of people who get them. So, yes, all of you who just said start multiplying, yeah, you're right. So I would have to go, what's 2 times 100,000? So I would have $200,000 there. 23 people earning $12,000 is 276000 Okay, 9 times 25,000, that's an easy one, that's 2.5. And 16 people earning 18,000 is $288,000. Okay, so now, what do you do with those numbers? You would add them up, and are you willing to trust me? You get 989,000, yeah, even. So. Okay, so that's how many dollars you're paying out in salary, too, right there. You're paying out $989,000 in salary. And if I'm doing a mean here, now, would this be a sample or a population? population. Is this a sample of the people who work there, or is this the entire population of people who work there? This would be a population, so technically we should use the population symbol for mean because this is the entire company. And so we would take their $989,000 they're making, and there's the question, divide by what? The people divide by what? Yeah, you have to add up how many people do they employ, and yes, that does add up to a convenient round 50. And so you could divide by 50, and you would find out that that comes out to be $19,780. Okay, not bad. Now, that's mean. How do I get medium? Yeah, are they in order? No, they aren't. So I need to rearrange them. Does it matter whether it's from biggest to smallest to smallest to biggest? Yeah. Not either, either order, whatever floats your boat. So um, I'm going to say I have two people still at 100000 Then what would be the next highest salary? Uh, there were nine people at 25000 And then 16 people at 18000 and then 23 people making a measly $12,000. Maybe they're part-timers. Who knows? Okay, now, how are you going to find them the meat in the middle of those numbers? Do I go, oh, there's four numbers it's between the second and third one? Okay, well, we do already know. We know that's 50 people. So it's actually we're trying to find the median of 50 people. Okay, so 50 divided by 2 would be... The 25th, but since it's even, it would be the between the 25th and 26th person. Well, how do I find out where that is? Yeah. You can count from either end. Mike has started from the 23. So if 23 of them are here, we need to get to the 25th and 26th. Are they going to are they going to be in the next group up? Yes. So therefore, it's, since they're both going to be in the eighteen thousand range, that means the median is eighteen thousand. Now, if you come from the top, two plus nine is eleven. To get to twenty five, we need to go fourteen more. Wouldn't that still land us in this same group? So yeah, in this case, then our median is eighteen thousand dollars. And then, last but least, what's our mode salary? Our mode sal salary is 12000 because that's the one that happened the most. Dude, 
You need to listen to this, and you need to be answering this, asking this anytime you're presented with data in the real world, whether you have a politician about statistics and numbers, whether it's the TV media, people use statistics to lie to you and sway your opinion. And I hate yeah, remember that. that statistic where we used to use data? Yeah. Yeah, the one, yes, the one I had to read already about yeah, statistics lying to you. Okay, here's a prime yeah, example. If you're the owner of this company, at which these all apply, these all represent the center, and you're going to say what the average person in your company makes. If you're the owner, which number are you going to quote? You're going to quote the nineteen thousand seven hundred eighty dollars because that makes your company look the best it can look. Okay, if you're the employees arguing that we need better salaries, which number are you going to quote? Oh. You're going to quote the average person's only making twelve thousand dollars in our company. <laughs> when they when they use that average person thing. You need to be asking, which number did they pick? Which data are they using? How many people did they actually sample? People can lie with statistics so easily. Stats are good, but they can also sway your opinion and mislead you. You need to be an intelligent reader of statistics. Ask them other questions, because they can lie to you with this so simply. It happens all the time. Okay, last thing I need to show you then, now that we understand this. Oh, now let me ask you this. Why was the mean so much higher on this one than the median? There were two guys who probably were outliers here. We're going to talk outliers next class. Yeah, the two outliers made median mean the mean go be more effective. Mean gets impacted a lot. So if I was to give you a quick histogram here, a picture, and your data looked like this. As opposed to if I was to give you a histogram that looks like this, which one would be better with the mean and which one would be better with the median? Because why is it better with the mean? Mean, 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 mean is affected like by mean. extreme values. Oh, mean. So Means, means thrown off by extreme values. Median is not. Okay. Mean likes to find the center if it's all nice and centered. So if it's nice and center packed, mean's best. But if it's got, this has got outlet number, and particularly if I did something crazy like this and do something way out there like that, mean's going to get thrown way off by something like that. So median is better if it's not centered or just kind of random. Median is your better choice. Oh, How did you do this? You all can watch. How did you do this in two seconds on your calculator? Yes. No. This is so simple. You can watch. You got your data in your spreadsheet. Your, it will produce all those stats for you. Almost look at a split. All you have to do is go menu. Guys, we're doing statistics. And we're doing calculations, aren't we? Okay, you want the first choice. You want one variable stats because we have only one set of data. We have one list here. It's a list called year. Okay, I will eventually teach you what these other symbols mean, but if we scroll up to the top, X bar, there's mean. It's actually, it doesn't know whether you're a sample population. That's the more common one, so it'll use X bar. Some of these we'll learn later. Uh, down farther, if you scroll as median, it doesn't do mode. Doesn't do mode. Never have built mode in your calculator. Don't know why. I always like I'll show you next time how you can put your data in order if you wanted to find the mode, but it doesn't do mode. Most of the people don't use mode much. But calculators do that.